Francis Causey on the line with us. Heist dash. You all know what heist means, right? Heist. H e i s t. Heist dash. The movie. Dot com is the website for this really, really, really cool movie that is uh, opening nationwide. Francis Causey, the co-producer, uh, co-director and producer of Heist. Francis, welcome back to the program. Tom, it's great to be back with you. It's, a, it's an exciting day for us here at Heist, and um, you're very modest, but uh, you're, you're the narrator of the film and, and incredibly good in the movie, and um, it's, just, it's, uh, uh, it's an important day for us, so I'm really happy to be here. Well, thank you. Tell us, you know, how, how what is what is happening? What, how is this how is this rollout happening? What do people need to know about this? Well, two things. I mean, there's, there there are two premieres today. Actually, on um, Link TV, um, Heist will have its world premiere on Link TV at four p.m. Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can catch it on your satellite systems. Um, I think it's some terrestrial also. Right. And then, um, and then we're having a, a live streaming event uh, at at snagfilms dot com, uh, and and it's going to be a really exciting um, studio show in Lower Manhattan. David K. Johnston, who's um, one of the the great experts in the film, is going to mm-hmm. be in studio, and Donald and I will be joining um, them later tonight um, to answer questions from both the live studio audience and people asking questions from the streaming event. So if you go to snagfilms.com, uh, you'll, you can um, find out more about that. S-N-A-G, like reach out and snag something films? Exactly. Okay, snagfilms.com. Yep. And then you can always go to heist-themovie.com to, to also get connected. Right. And the essence of the movie, why the title Heist? What's this movie about? For our, you know, As you said, I narrated it. I'm familiar with it, but for our listeners and viewers who don't know what you're talking about. Sure. I mean, I mean over the last 40 years, what we've seen is a deliberate transfer of wealth um, from the, the poor and middle class in our country to, you know, to the very wealthiest. And what, what we do is, a, is, is really we connect the dots of that crime um, that started in 1971 with the Powell Memo, which was kind of inspirational um, to, to some wealthy folks. And they, they took the memo and implemented it through um, policy think tanks and, of course, created the system of lobbying we know. So it's, it's, the heist is really um, a death by a thousand cuts Mm-hmm. Uh, to the middle class, and it, you know, everything from going from defined pensions to 401k to how our system, our political system, has become so corrupt with money, and how this impacts um, people's pocketbooks. How you know how it really has uh, you know one of the one of the features of the American dream has always been this upwardly mobile. I'll do better than my parents. My kids will do better than me, and and we really take a look at that and see. Um, what's happened over the last forty years? Yeah, the you know the, the the point I think that's so important to make is here we are the wealthiest nation in the world, and we've got politicians running around with their hair on fire saying we're broke, we're broke. You know, we're all the money's all gone. And as a matter of fact, you know, some five plus trillion dollars did vanish out of the out of the pockets, out of the uh, the home values, out of the pensions and savings accounts of the middle class over the last decade. But in addition to that. The you know we've we've been robbed. I mean, basically, that's what's going on. There's been this heist. We we've been robbed. Exactly. I mean, you look at you look at, for instance, um, wage. Uh, you know wh- how wages have stagnated. Um, you know, a lot of the headlines. If you really, our film is about the nuances, the backstory behind the headlines. That that a in most in most cases, it's just flat out not true. It's it's agenda. Like there's so much more nuance and. And 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 uh, um, perspective, if you will, that people un- need to understand about the budget. But they, you know, they they punch these hot button issues to get people all fired up. Um, and what we try to do, for instance, is show that say wages have stagnated uh, since the mid seventies. And co- and of course, people once money became cheap through the banks, I mean, people had to borrow to pay for things like groceries and medical, uh, you know, care. Right. So so. But yet, all you hear is about how you know forty-seven percent of us are on the dole and we're shiftless and not working, and what people, and and we really connect the dots of that story. I mean, this has been one of the big problems of corporate consolidated um, news media, which we also go into. They're not really telling 
um, in, a, in a shorter format. Fortunately, you have a longer format, so you can deal with it but, uh, and do so very well. But people need to understand that, um, that what's happened has been this kind of deliberate assault on working people and wages. I mean, uh, I know I've been in corporate situations where I felt like I was a line item uh, in a budget, and, and we, we tell that whole big story from, from kind of start to finish, which was challenging, but it took us six right. years, but we did it. Right. Yeah, this, the story of the heist of the wealth of the American middle class and the transfer upward to the Romney class, basically. Right. And what people need to understand, I think, is, is this was deliberate. This was a planned, orchestrated event by right. very disciplined um, people implementing, staying on message, you know, just with one thing in mind. Greed is good, of course. It all consolidated under Ronald Reagan. I mean, it, you know, everything was kind of happening um, with deregulation beginning in the 1970s, and Carter went along in many ways. And then by the time Reagan comes into office, it's just... They've got the machine in place, and, you know, I think, honestly, since then, it's just been kind of reaping the spoils, because you see um, a lot of Democratic cooperate from the Democrat, cooperation from the Democratic Party with these Republican free market, you know, extremism, idealism, uh, the market always knows best, and in reality... You know, as one of our guests in the movie says, you know, markets are based on laws, and it's a question of who the law benefits. And I think we're we're pretty clear. The evidence is 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 unbelievably strong that that this even point one point two percent of people uh, have benefited mostly. I think in the last year or so, ninety three percent of of uh, income gains have have gone to the one percent. Yep. Yep, it is. It is a uh, well, as Elizabeth Warren said at the DNC, the game is rigged, and it's been rigged in the on behalf of the Romney class for some time. the The movie is Heist. Heist dash the movie dot com is the website. Francis Causey, the co director and producer. Thank you, Francis. Thanks, Tom. <laughs>